Good morning, everybody. It is 20 past 11 on Sunday, the 28th of March, 2021. Welcome to the Bitcoin Bulletin Charts, where we find out what is up with what is going down. So let's uh, just jump straight into it and get on with your charts once I have fixed my tablet that tells me I'm going live so that everybody can see what it is that I'm doing and I can also see myself to make sure that we're streaming properly. Give me two seconds. Oh, we're live. There we go. Just see myself. Just going to mute. There we go. Just see myself. There we go. Sorted. All right. Let's do this. Here we go. And uh, again, there's a discrepancy in the price between uh, Coindance and Preve via a, uh, a margin of about $5 by the looks of things. But we'll see what coin crap has got in store for us as we, uh, as we go through these charts. So here we go. We've got Bitcoin with 0.2% of the hash rate. Uh, B crash 0.8% of the hash rate. Core coin 99. <laughs> uh, network nodes 2.2 on Bitcoin, 9.2 on B crash. 88.6 on core coin. Transactions, we've got 34.9 on Bitcoin, 40.3 on Bcrash, and 24.9 on core coin. Not looking good there. Uh, block size, whoa, look at this. Look at this. 77.9%. Ho, ho, ho. I wonder what happens when you click on this. What's this? Daily average Bitcoin block size by network summary. Oh, all righty. All righty, here we go. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. It's huge. That's, I mean, uh, I'm guessing that's probably another spike, but I mean, one day it won't be. Look at the size of that. <laughs> Sounds like something my girlfriend said to me. <laughs> Uh, right then. Um, so yeah, 77.8 for Bitcoin, 8.4 for Bcrash, 13.8 for uh, for CoolCoin. So uh, let's just play spot the biggest block on Bcrash. But while we're doing that, we'll also have uh, uh, Roger Ver uh, letting us know that uh, Bcrash is actually officially called Bcrash because that is exactly what he calls it himself. Take the floor, Roger Durr. Just uh, give us a few seconds while it loads. It's coming up nicely, there we go. Any second now. Turn the volume up, people, so you can hear this loud and clear. And we're gonna really spread Bitcoin crash across the entire country here in Antigua. <laughs> Thanks for that, Roger. Good luck with that. Not. Let's see what we got. So a 1.7, a 1.84, a 1.9, a 3.2. Uh, yep, 3.2 is the biggest one they've got there. And uh, again, we're just going to have a look on uh, CoreCoin here for any big blocks that Michael Saylor absolutely loves. So uh, if you don't believe me, have a listen to this. I like Bitcoin the way it is. And what way would that be, Michael? In fact, in fact, I love Bitcoin the way it is. So do we, Michael. So do we. And um, the way it's currently constructed. Oh, did you hear that? The way it's currently constructed, which is what way? The way in the white paper that you've been studying? Not anymore, mate. It is possible to put all $250 trillion of monetary energy and big blocks of encrypted energy on the blockchain. Maybe the Bitcoin will be a million, you can probably calculate $10 million of Bitcoin or something. Big blocks, $100 million chunks on the blockchain. <laughs> I don't think so, mate. I'm gonna let one of your uh, colleagues explain what's happened since you've been reading the white paper under your nose that you have missed. Bitcoin is so different now from when Satoshi was here. It's a yeah, yeah. It doesn't have big blocks anymore. Completely different project. It's a piece of shit. It doesn't matter who Satoshi is anymore. Well, that's true, but it never really did, to be honest with you. Even if Satoshi came back, I don't think he would just be immediately welcomed as having this God-given right to decide what happens with Bitcoin. I think arrogant shitcoiner. 
he would have to earn his right back into the project. But <laughs> Satoshi's going to have to earn his own right back into the Bitcoin project that he created. <laughs> what a joke. Bitcoin is 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 the sum is is built by, based on consensus now. No. <laughs> Satoshi needs to explain to you what Bitcoin was built on, Pete. But you have you are a shitcoin who is shit for brains, you wouldn't understand it anyway. So see you later. <laughs> so big blocks, Michael Saylor, let's see what we got. A 1.2, a 1.4, a 1.5, 1.5, any a 1.7. And the 1.9, oh, getting close. Ah, that's it. Right, let's see what we've got on Bitcoin here. And who's mining what? Oh, Dutch mining on there, mining a shit block. 0.25 data. What the hell are they doing that for? Hathor. Look at Hathor, Hathor. Hathor mining a 10 megabyte block. Double figures within the first three rows. Oh, yeah. BTC.com, 16 megabytes. Huh. Having to work uh, to uh, to get some Bitcoin on their books by the looks of things. Look at all this data. Whoa. Hathor 4 megabytes. Tau 5. Hathor 15. Tau 31. 35. 56. A 56 megabyte block. I mean, we're used to seeing these things anyway on Bitcoin. But, uh, you know, I mean, compared to these shitcoin projects, I have 56 megabyte block. And we're just like, eh, you know, next to 35, 31. That's crazy. Oh, Griggs in the house. Good morning. Good to see you. Uh, Mempool Norpool with a 3.6. And then Tau, Tau, Tau. Hathor, Tau, Hathor, Hathor, Hathor. Uh, Mempool Norpool with a 5.9. Tau with a 25 megabyte block. Look at all this data. This is awesome. Awesome. Very good. Quite looking forward to seeing a Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoin blocks live in a minute. What's this? Bitcoin hash rate by network. Hash rate's going down, but uh, data on the chain is going up. My goodness. Well, I suppose this is like comparative hash rate, really. But as we know, hash rate follows price, follows value, follows utility, follows creativity, initiative, and intelligence. If you are intelligent and you have creativity and initiative, you can make something useful. When something is useful, it can then create value. When it creates value, it can then develop a price. When it develops a price, it can then be measured against the cost of other goods and services and used as a medium of exchange. There we go. Um, proof of work by network. Corecoin, B crash will stop one day. Uh, B crash Bitcoin hash rate. B crash Bitcoin proof of work. It is thirty-two and a half thousand times cheaper to transact on uh, on Bitcoin than CoreCoin, which is 10 times cheaper than Bcrash because Bcrash is a load of shit. Oh, it's 1.7% more profitable to mine on SV this morning. Don't have to see that very often. Uh, but it's 0.9% more profitable to mine on CoreCoin than Bcrash. You know, but, you know, hash rate is manipulated. Uh, average block size by network. Look at that, actually. That, that sharp rise there. Uh, is not as is not as sharp as these spikes. What is going on there? That's actually kind of like not necessarily a spike. Ooh, you know, I mean, something being tested, but it's not a spike. Look, look, it's it's not the gradient is not as steep as you would expect from a spike. That suggests uh, more genuine volume. You're rather than a test, maybe. Interesting. Uh, Bitcoin transactions by network. Ugh. Yeah, transactions, bollocks, bollocks, bollocks. Transactions per block. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fees. Ooh. Fees USD. But I mean, look at the amount of data flowing through the chain. Just. Uh, and uh, fees Satoshi's. Whoa. Something is going on there. Something's going on there. Uh, block reward ratio. Wow, look at that smashing, uh, smashing B crash there. Gonna have to have a look at these blocks and the um, the fees in the block. Uh, wow, wow. All right. Uh, blockchain growth by network mocking B crash there. A uh, Bitcoin on the up. Uh huh. Global hash rate seven days, a global hash rate 24 hours. Look, SV pool is on there. And uh, Mempool nor pool. Uh, is Matterpool making a uh, an appearance? No, no. Oh, wonder if SV pool has surpassed them, maybe. 
Um, BTC.com being pushed down into sixth place. Um, so via BTC up there, and maybe if, have they given up mining shit coins? Who knows? So core coin hash rate. Look at this. Wow, we're looking for the towel tell. There is no towel on there whatsoever. Whoa, whoa, look at this. Hathor absolutely uh, chomping the way at the uh, profitability of B Crash because it's an absolute piece of crap. And this is Bitcoin. Look at this SV pool. Good to see them. Very good to see them. They're above. Uh, have we got any? Uh, they're above BTC.com. Brilliant. Brilliant. Matterpool is on there making an appearance as well. That's that's great. So look. Um, so BTC.com being, being squeezed via BTC being squeezed. Uh, I assume Dutch mining are a shitcoin enterprise now because they um, you know, don't really know too much about them. And, uh, maybe they're just like spreading their... Or they're not really on... They're not on... They're not on uh, CoreCoin. So, may, yeah, maybe they're just a, a shitcoin cash. A shitcoin crash uh, supporter. Who knows? Yeah, but, uh, yeah, uh, trying, to, trying to squeeze on the chain and uh, they can't get on there. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Love it. All right, let's have a look at these uh, short positions here. There we go. Uh, so again, somebody said to me the other day, like, you know, or somebody uh, question, put a question in the box. How do short positions um, suppress the price? It's not that short positions themselves actually suppress the price. It's the dumping of, uh, of BSV that suppresses the price. But the short positions are representative of the expectation of the dumping that's going to come. Um, so it's, it's in other words, the short positions are an indicator, uh, of what the market thinks and what the market knows. And, you know, obviously the big players all know what's going on. So, so that, that, that's kind of like what I'm saying here. So let's have a look at these short positions. I got 83, 83, oh, 80, 85 is 81, 80. So we're looking for, well, I mean, what, anything over or above that changes. So maybe an 87 we don't want, but a 79 would be very welcomed. Very welcomed. 76, 75, 76, 76, 75. Oh, it's coming down. Oh, look, it was 76 yesterday. Now, uh, 76, 86. Now it's 85. Yeah, uh, they, are, they are being taken care of. They are being taken care of. Uh, right, so uh, Bitcoin blocks life. Uh, uh, whoa, 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 what is this? What is this? A 217 megabyte block mined on the uh, on the mainnet. No wonder all these other blocks look a little bit tiny. Whoa, let's just zoom out a little bit then. So we'll get that 217 off the screen. There we go. Suddenly all these other blocks pop up. So we can see what's going on with more data. Nice. Nice. Right, let's just see who mined this bad boy. Tal. Total fees. Look at that. Total fees, $347. All right. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Um, block kind. Let's see if we can have a look at what's on chain. There we go. Mm-hmm. Total fees, 1.8 BSV. Alrighty. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Yeah, uh, 217 megabyte block. Loving that. Loving that. Was not expecting that this morning. Great stuff uh, is that, shall we say. Yeah, nice. All right, we'll have a look at uh, charts as well. Whew, that, was, that, was, that was quite exciting, that. Really wasn't expecting that. Uh, my computer is running slowly this morning. Seriously, don't get me, don't get me resetting you. Come on, come on, you can do this. There we go. RAM memory isn't all that good. So for any newbies watching this, uh, the vertical rectangular blocks moving across the top of the screen are the transactions being recognised by the nodes on the network. Below that are the transaction generators. We have the transaction ID, the input, the output, the uh, uh, type, and the op return. Below that is the mean pool, which is where the transactions are stored before they uh, go onto the blockchain. So they are competed for by the miners and payment processes in order to store them in a block. 
put them on a blockchain, which is where they are then rewarded with the Coinbase data, otherwise known as the block reward, otherwise known as freshly minted Bitcoin. Uh, let's have a look at charts. Any movers and shakers? Ooh. Uh, is it just my imagination? Yeah, 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 it hasn't, it hasn't moved. I don't think it's moved anyway. What date is that? When did that stop? Um, so the 28th of February was when it stopped producing. Oh, no, 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 hold on. Uh, D drive transactions are still moving. So, um, 8,948,476. The, the transactions are still going up, even though they're small. Look at that. Yeah, eight nine fifty. That's going to be like uh, nine million transactions soon. Wow. So still at the top there, still producing transactions. I hadn't spotted that. My bad. Now we know. Wow. So D Drive is still active. Uh, I guess so. Actually, that would explain why uh, Router SV is still on uh, Trends.cash, showing as apps by performed actions. Wow! All right, all right. Uh, BitInfo charts again. Correlations here. Let's have a look at uh, transactions last 24 hours. Bitcoin 6.2. That's because there's more data flowing through the chain. 7.7 .7 on core coin, yeah, yeah, and then just shit coin is just there's no value in any of those transactions whatsoever. A complete waste of time. So again, uh, Bitcoin charts do all these shit coins across the top. Uh, we're just going to go to uh, actions 24 hours, three years log. Look at that. This is a genuine Bitcoin for any investors who might be curious about what's going on. Look at that. That is a genuine Bitcoin. The purple one following Bitcoin's protocol. The genuine Bitcoin. Right, let's see what's going on. Yeah, look, uh, scaling test network. So it's registering a 207 megabyte block when it was in actual fact, what, 215, was it? Something like that. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh... I don't know why Scaling Test Network sort of like downplays the amount of uh, megabytes, but uh, but anyway, that's on there. 207 for Scaling Test Network. All right. Trends.cash. See, look, Router SV. Router SV, 28.3%. Um, so I, again, I don't know what the time frame this is. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming because it changes quite often, it's like 24 hours. But um, Router SV, uh, still on there. Uh, apps ranking by performed action. So... Uh, has to be related to D Drive. Uh, what? Well, um, again, just speculating. Um, uh, and TDXP app, Twitch app. Twitch app has uh, beaten uh, Tonic Pow. All right. But look at this apps ranking by money spent. TDXP app absolutely macking it. Degenerate gamblers can't stay away. You know, trying to predict what shit corners with shit for brains are going to do on the market. Outsmarting shit coiners. Good luck with that. <laughs> it's like outsmarting stupid people. <laughs> you, know, you know, you can't really predict what stupid people are going to do because they're stupid. Unless you're predicting something absolutely stupid, which they're going to they're going to do, which means you have to lower yourself to their level. Uh, crazy. Uh, all exchange reserves. Again, this just simply uh, illustrates the. Uh, the bubble that's being formed. I mean, look at this, still going down, still down today. As in uh, yesterday, uh, on March 27th, it's still down. They're selling out. They're selling out. They know. I mean, this is just a huge bubble. A huge bubble. It's devastating. Uh, it's going to be devastating when we uh, when it comes to light anyway. Oh, my goodness me. Right, what's on chain? Does it have this big block here? Uh What's this one? Click here to explore more blocks. Uh, and let's see where was this block. Um, that's a 2.4. So we're looking for 200. 200 megabyte block. Oh, we've, we've seen the... Uh, 
We've seen the statistics anyway, but let's just try and find it. A 202. Uh, yeah, surely. Surely 202 has got to be it. Looking at the... Uh, what's that? Oh, no, that? oh, that's the size. Oh, what am I looking at? Oh, transactions. Ugh. Mm -hmm. Hold on then. Let's start again. Megabytes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, it's kilobytes. Looking for megabytes. Kilobytes, kilobytes, kilobytes. Kilobytes. Mm -hmm. 217 megabytes. There we go. So uh, 10,642 transactions in that one. Fees, yeah, fees 1.8 BSV. Wow, yeah, great. Great stuff. Great stuff. Loving that. Loving that. Oh, I'll return. Let's have a. Let's randomly choose one of these. Let's see what it says. Mm hmm. Yeah, again, it's private. I can't really see too much, but good seeing that. Joe, who's mean pool? So the. What's this? Um, 2 p.m. yesterday. Did we miss it or something? Um, mm, mm. This is sats and bites. But anyway, let me look at that cleared. Whenever it was. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, but. Wow. I mean, look at that, though. Beautiful, beautiful, complete, massive block, cleared. Loving it. Loving that. Loving that. And let's have a look at uh, TX Street just for lulls while we're here. Mm -hmm. When you're ready, TX Street. Here we go. Looking at this for lulls. Again, look at Core Coin. <laughs> Stop spamming the network. And then, like, look at all these pieces of shit on Ethereum. What an absolute joke that is. Transactions with no value in them whatsoever. Like, an absolute joke. Absolute joke. Look look at all these transactions being rejected um, because due to the lack of fees on Ethereum. That's hilarious. Look. Watch this. There'll be more transactions look, rejected going in. You're going to see some more rejections in a mo. <laughs> look at these ones on CoreCoin. Uh, rejected from the block. Look at, oh, look at all these rejections on uh, on Ethereum. That's hilarious. People are just like, they're des desperately trying to get their transactions to go through. But they keep being rejected because they can't pay enough. What a joke. What an absolute shit show this is. An absolute shit show. <laughs> oh, dear. All right. Let's have a look at my own statistics. Hey, 376. That might be the same as yesterday, I think, maybe. But anyway. Uh, 111 in the last 28 days. That's pretty good, really. You know. Um, see if we can keep that above 100. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Can we get, like, you know, uh, 100 more subscribers uh, on average uh, every uh, 30 days? That'd be all right, wouldn't it? I mean, it shouldn't be too odd. It's like, what, 3.3 a day, fingers crossed. You know, if I'm putting out quality content uh, that should do let's have a look at uh, oh we've got another one excellent two um, two two one so uh, extra extra subscriber uh, as of uh, yesterday great revenue made over a dollar on yesterday's video good stuff that's what we needed oh two dollars on uh, on the 16 decimal places one lovely lovely uh, two dollars on the uh, FCA one. $26 on uh, Lorian Gamaroff. And remember, um, uh, I don't know, uh, Stefan Matthews, hopefully, being uh, interviewing him next week sometime, which will be great. Stay tuned for that. 
another episode of Bitcoin, Biscuits and Coffee. Right, uh, the morning run. So NC is numpty coin. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Like numpty coin, seriously? Numpty coin is now uh, 2 cents. 2.9, 2.9 cents. There's a supply of uh, 10 million. Um, oh dear, I don't know where we can find. Anyway, let's have a look at see if there's any information on this. About numpty coin. Uh, these numpties, these guys in America don't really get the, don't really understand. I don't think they, made, I don't think they, made, I don't think they know what numpty means in English. You know, a numpty is a stupid person. Now, oh yeah, let's call ourselves the numpties. No, boys, it's just really not cool. Like not cool at all. Uh, all right then. Uh, we'll tell you what. We'll have a quick look at uh, messages here because I sent this one to myself. Uh -huh. Looking at this one here. <laughs> so, uh, idiot streamers to launch token. A group of Bitcoin commentators who post regularly on the uh, video platform Streamanity have released a token to allow their fans to share in their revenues. Once called a bunch of numpties by angry viewers, the group unfamiliar with British English mistook the name for a compliment and adopted it as their official title for their shows. <laughs> oh dear, that is funny. But there we go, that's numpty coin. You know, a numpty coin has got a 24 hour trading volume of uh, $1,466. Uh, Shuacoin has got a trading volume of $4,186. <laughs> I mean, look, I mean, if people are doing it for novelty and lols and laugh, that's fine. You know, but there's no fundamental value in these things. It's just novelty coins. They don't do anything any, like that I'm aware of. You know, I mean, whether these boys are saying, oh, you know, you can share in the revenues from a show. I mean, I don't know how it works, but, <sighs> you know, anyway, it's funny. Uh, so again, this one here, this is actually, so um, the Fed, when it says economic research, Federal Reserve Bank of St. Louis, uh, no, St. Uh, St. Louis. Uh, so this is that, they are connected to oh, but the, the Federal Reserve. Um, and uh, there were some other graphs that I wanted to look at here. So, um, uh, so we'll just... Delete that and go to the home page. Hold on, because they've got other uh, charts on there worth looking at. Here we go. Um, and uh, I've actually just started following them on uh, on Twitter, so you can see what their Twitter profile says. We'll just look at that in just a second, if it allows us. Here we go. So uh, it says a Federal Reserve Bank of St. Louis, central to America's economy. So uh, what they're saying is they're like important. Uh, but let's have a look at some of these graphs. They've got consumer price index, all urban consumers, all items. So again, it just it shows you costs going up, really. Real gross domestic product going down. Industrial product index going down. 10-year treasury uh, constant maturity rate. I'm, I'm not really sure what that is. Euro foreign exchange rate, unemployment rate. They're saying unemployment rate is going down. All employee, employees, uh, total non-farm payrolls. Don't know what that means. And uh, initial claims, again, not really too sure what that is. Uh, at a glance, popular series. This is what they've got here. 10-year uh, treasury constant maturity minus two-year, blah, blah, blah. 10-year break-even inflation rate, uh, unemployment rates, 10-year treasury constant, M2 money stock discontinued. Hmm. Uh, M1 money stock continued, uh, or discontinued. Uh, consumer price index rule, uh, yeah, um, ICE, BOFA, US high yield index options, assets, total assets, total assets. Less simulations for um, consolidation. Real gross domestic product. Mm -mm. Uh, okay, latest releases. What's this? Coinbase cryptocurrencies 10 hours ago. We'll have a look at that then. State employment and unemployment one day ago. Uh, gross domestic product by state. Personal income and outlays. All right. Tools. 
uh, my data list, uh, Fredcast, GeoFreds. All right, I need that. All right. Well, let's have a look at this one. What's this? Coinbase currencies. Coinbase cryptocurrency. So this is maybe actually maybe, maybe they're talking about Coinbase Exchange. Um, uh, Coinbase. Uh, that's Core Coin. Um, daily, not seasonally adjusted. Uh, Ethereum Litecoin B crash. What a joke. Let's have a look at the Core Coin here then. So maybe this should be the uh, price charts. Yeah. All right. So it's just price comparison. But you know they've still got it on there. Shows they're taking it seriously. You know. Especially with Coinbase's uh, $100 billion IPO. What a joke that is. What an absolute joke that is. Um, but yeah. Uh, all right. But uh, as we looked at the other day, uh, the um, the money is not stimulating the economy. As, uh, as we saw down here. Look, I mean, this is really worrying. Like, really worrying. Look. And they so much so that they've stopped producing the data. Look, it finishes there. Uh, um, quarter 4, 2014. Probably because they don't want to hide it. A bit like the uh, Chinese when they don't want people to see figures. People st because because they fudge the figures, all the economists actually started uh, looking at the electricity consumption to see uh, how many factories were working. Because obviously, the more factories in production, the more electricity consumption is used. So then they started uh, uh, ignoring the figures that the Chinese government put out and just started looking at energy uh, um, uh, any energy figures to give them more of a clue about the uh, state of the Chinese economy. I mean, what a joke! They're trying to hide it all, yeah. And that, I'm guessing that's what they're doing here. You know, it's it's pfft. trying to hide it from us is all they're trying to do. <clears throat> uh, Bitcoin SV, how are we feeling about it today? Good, thank you very much. And let's have a look at the uh, shitcoin market. Core coin now up uh, 50 to uh, 56 thousand dollars. But you know, there is no USDT pumping it anymore. What are they gonna do? You know? Down on the week, you know, a little bit up. There's gonna be a little bit of momentum, but is there gonna be a bit, any big price spikes that we saw that took it up to $56,000? All courtesy of Tether, printing like $1.5 billion within seven hours and pumping it into the uh, pumping it into the trade volume. I mean, look at this. So if we go to, <clears throat> uh, look, Volume 24 hours 16 billion. So you know if if you if you suddenly put 1.5 billion into that, yeah, you know, that you're affecting the 10% you know, of the overall 24 hour trade volume. Of course, it's going to affect the price. You know, it's it's insane. There's no value in it. You know, I mean, we know that. I mean, I'll just get annoyed because like shitcoin is that stupid. But you know, some people are that stupid. Uh, oh my god, Uni Uni Swapper eight. What a joke. Um, any uh, movers and shakers here? Let's, is Bitcoin still in the uh, top 30? Oh, 29, 29. Push BitTorrent back down into 30th. But uh, price is holding. Price is holding. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, it's holding. I mean, we could be in for, who knows? I mean, it's, yeah, the market is kind of like tied to uh, CoolCoin anyway. But uh, yeah, I did buy up here, but then I bought in three times, like, there, um, here, and like there, I think I bought in. So you know, you just have to go in with what you've got when you can. Really, that's uh, that's it. Let's have a look at uh, Twitch users. Twenty four hours. Oh, yeah, one hundred and three over three figures. Loving that. Good stuff. And uh, let's go back to uh, Twitter. Let's have a look at Ruthie's tweet. Are we still on nine sixty? Here we go. Let's have a look. <laughs> nine five eight. There we go. Now nine five nine. Let's check out our man Zatoshi. Oh, I let it down by a uh, hundred followers. Forty-seven point one. Censorship. Censorship. Uh, what was is worth? I'm gonna check out Whale Alert for USDC now that we know they've stopped reporting on USDT. Um, uh, US, you know, Binance token, PAX token. Seven hours. Any more? Any money printed in the last 24 hours? 10 hours? 12 hours? 14 hours? Look at this. Oh, oh, what is this? 15 hours ago. Oh my God. 800 million dollars printed by uh, uh, the Tether Treasury. Right. 
Let's uh, let's quote New York Attorney General on that one. At uh, New York, New York State Attorney General. There we go. Mocking that one. What a joke. $800 million. See, look, that, they're, gonna, they get, they're just going to pump the price again. That's, that's what they're going to do. What an effing joke. What a joke. All right, we'll just uh, retweet that. Joke shop. Joke shop. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ugh. I thought well alert had stopped to reporting on. Good job we looked at that then. Because uh, we wouldn't have seen that. What a joke. What a joke. Oh, I don't need to look at... Actually, we'll, we'll have a look at... Uh, yeah, stablecoin printer. See if, they've picked, see if they've picked up on it. USDC, USDC. Oh, there we go. There it is. Yeah. $800 million. Printed by USDT. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Anyway, there we go. That'll do for uh, this morning's charts, people. Uh, oh, 36 minutes, this one. So, uh, oh, uh, Gigsy in the house saying, uh, have you ever tried to upload a file on Bitcoin files? Uh, once, the pilot, once the file is there, can you uh, download it again? Uh, can anyone else uh, download the same file? I don't understand what Bitcoin files is or does. It's, just, it's literally just a filing system on, uh, on, on Bitcoin. So you upload it and put it in a file for organization. That, that's literally it. Uh, revenue sharing sounds like a bad idea as far as I can see. Uh, a token is a ticket for special access to the NFT as a receipt. Uh, glorified tickets and receipts. Uh, this is all investing in uh, glory, yeah? Uh, it's, just, it's just novelty. You know, there's, there's, no value. there's no value in that yet. There's no utility in them. Um, but, uh, yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that show. Again, uh, you know, uh, comedy news later on this afternoon, followed by the live show, Live at 5. Catch you guys later. Get paid for posting your pics on Relica. Download the app now at www.getrelica.com. Get your tweet etched on Twitch, forever on the Bitcoin blockchain. Do it today at www.jointwitch.com. Buy BSV.live, the best place to buy Bitcoin SV online. Support independent content creators on micropayment platforms such as Streamanity, Twitch and Relica. We should profit from our data, not the large corporations who track, monitor and sell it. If you enjoy the Bitcoin content that I produce, please support me by heading over to www.satoshi.tv where you can keep up to date with all the latest news, gossip and content as it's created. Thanks very much. To get started in Bitcoin, go to freebsv.com where you can claim your free Bitcoin. Then head over to Twitter and follow at IamZatoshi, where you can take part in his very generous and world-famous free giveaways. The future of advertising meets the power of Bitcoin at Tonic Pow. Get paid for posting advertising campaigns to your social media profiles. Go to www.tonicpowadds.com.